Brothers and sisters, for congregational prayer uh, this morning, uh, I want to talk about our offering for a moment. And our offering this morning is for uh, New Ground Ministries from uh, out of, excuse me, from out of Diaconal Ministries Canada. And you may be wondering, what is New Ground? That's a great question. Uh, it has been formerly known as Operation Mana. Um, but it has been renamed and sort of relaunched. And so I have a little video for you to watch and that will fill you in. But before we get to that little video about Operation Manna, uh, let us come to God in congregational prayer. Oh Lord our God, thank you so much for this day. Lord, please guide us and keep us. Lord, we pray especially at this time for our students and teachers in high school and elementary school as they are getting closer and closer to the end of their school year. Lord, we pray in particular for those who are graduating from elementary school or high school. Uh, we ask that you will be with them and guide them uh, as they uh, go through, <laughs> yeah, sort of the second year of graduations in a row that will probably be very different from the normal. We ask as well, O oh God, that you will be with both students and teachers uh, as they come to the end of the school year, that you will help them, enable them to finish strong, O oh God. This can be such a tough, tough time. O oh God, this morning too, as we, uh, as we are standing here and uh, or sitting wherever we are, O oh God, we lift up before you uh, our police officers, our frontline workers, O oh God. We pray that you will be with them. Lord, we pray that you will guide police organizations throughout this, this uh, country, throughout this province, throughout this uh, continent and this world. We know, O oh God, that just like with every, every area of work and life, policing is not perfect at all. But just as pastoring is not perfect either, we pray and we humble ourselves and we submit ourselves and we ask very much that you will protect our police officers, that you will bless them, that you will keep them safe, that you will enable them to truly carry out their mandate to protect and to serve, O oh God. What a beautiful and high gospel calling you have given them. Lord, not only our police officers, but our paramedics, our uh, our our uh, frontline firefighters, our volunteer firefighters, our, our nurses, our doctors, our, all these wonderful emergency workers, our, our military, our peacekeeping forces, oh God, Lord, would you please guide them and strengthen them? Would you, oh God, shape all of our human endeavors to become more and more Christ-like. And would you bring all people into closer relationship with you and with their fellow human beings? Father, as we come uh, and bring our offerings, our tithes and offerings, we pray that you will bless Operation uh, Manna, now called New Ground. Lord, would you please guide the people who are volunteering in that capacity, who are helping, who are uh, breaking new ground in many, many places. And God, would you help us too? As we come to you in the scriptures for the message, would you open our hearts and minds to hear what you would have us hear? We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The New Ground Program of Diaconal Ministries Canada partners with deacons and churches offering coaching and resources to help break new missional ground nurturing spirit-led ideas that bear everlasting fruit.
because of your generous support over the years, Newground has helped over 140 churches love their community. A church loves its community when it gets to know the people and places in it. When it works to discover God's dreams for their community. A church loves its community when it works with and for them. Using the gifts and passions of every person to address the challenges and gaps that exist. A church loves its community when it equips the next generation to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with God. When you give to new ground, you are actively participating in growing God's kingdom in new and exciting ways all across Canada.